I'm Ms. Hernandez, and today we are going to be making wreck and wreck. This is a wreck and wreck if you have never seen one before. It's usually used in math for kindergartners, first graders, and second graders, and you use it to complete math problems. So let's say you have a wreck and wreck. You have 10 color beads on the top, 10 color beads on the bottom and they are different colors. So I have blue and yellow and blue and yellow. Let's say your teacher asks you what five plus one is. You can move over one, two, three, four, five beads, and one more, and then count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five plus one would be six. Or you could know, hey, I know I have five yellow beads here. I'm just gonna move over five yellow beads, and one more, five, six. Or let's say your teacher asked you what's 10 plus two. Well, you know you have 10 beads on the top and move over one, two more, 10, 11, 12. So you use it as counters and it's nice and organized instead of being all spread out on your desk. So to make a wreck and wreck today, you are going to need a 12 inch pipe cleaner. That's just a pretty standard size for a pipe cleaner. You are going to need 10 beads in one color and 10 beads in a different color. So if you look back at my wreck and wreck, I have 10 beads that are blue and 10 beads that are yellow. One thing that's really important when you're making your wreck and wreck is you want your beads to be a different color than your background and your pipe cleaner because you want your beads to stand out. You don't want them to be the same color and then you can't really see them very well. So today I have 10 purple beads and 10 pink beads. You will also need a four inch by six inch piece of stiff paper. So when I say stiff, it means it's not super flimsy like a regular piece of paper, it's pretty stiff. I used poster board and just used my ruler to measure four inches by six inches roughly and cut it out. If you already have like an index card that's four by six, that would be uh, just as great as well. You are going to need a hole punch, your ruler, scotch tape, and scissors. These are grown-up scissors. You might need safety scissors. All right. Our first um, step is to take our pipe cleaner and our scissors and cut it in half. You can me measure with your ruler to see where half is, or you can fold it in half. You can match up the two ends. Fold it in half. See how those match at the ends? Or so fold it in half. And then you just cut it right here where your point is, carefully. Okay. So now we have two six inch pieces of pipe cleaner and put those to the side. Now you're also going to need your beads. My beads are in this bowl, that way I don't lose them. You're gonna take one piece of pipe cleaner. And what we're going to be doing now is stringing our beads on our pipe cleaner. So I am going to take five beads that are one color and put them on. So I'm gonna just start with my purple. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move them over a little bit so I have some room. And then I'm going to do five pink. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna take this, this is what it looks like, and set it to the side. Okay, so I went ahead and did my second row as well. So now I have two rows. Each row has five purple and five pink. Now I'm carefully gonna put them down. And now I am going to take my piece of paper and my hole punch, okay? What you need to do now, and I said use a ruler and you can use a ruler if you would like, um, or you can kind of just estimate where you think it needs to be. 
you don't want your two pipe cleaners to be so close together that you can't really move your beads and you don't want your pipe cleaners to be so short that you can't really move your beads. So the way I did mine, so I took my ruler and I took my piece of paper, my four by six inch piece of paper, and I made little dots where about a half an inch is, and then five halves. And all you're gonna do is punch a hole. So really the main point here is, you don't want your holes so close to the end that they're gonna tear, and you don't want your holes so close to the bottom row that they're all gonna be smushed together. So when it's you got your holes punched, it should look something like this. So you have a little bit of room on the edge so it's not gonna tear. You have a nice good piece of length right here for your pipe cleaner to stretch out, and they're not gonna be smushed together. Okay, so now I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to take my first row of pipe cleaner. Okay. I take my pipe cleaner with the beads on it and I slide one side through the hole on the top and one side through the hole on the bottom. Then I'm going to flip it over. So this is the front. See, it's just hanging out nice there. Flip it over. This is the back. Because it's pipe cleaner, it has wire on it. I'm just going to bend it over so it holds it to the paper. Okay. Now my first row is on there. So I'm going to do the same thing with my second row. So I want to make sure I have my pink on this side and my pink on, and my purple on this side. So I want to make sure I have my pink and my purple on the same side. So I'm going to put my Pipe cleaner through that hole with the pink and my purple's right here. And I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and put it through this hole in my purple. Same thing. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and my paper and flip it over to the back. And I'm going to bend in the leftover pieces of the pipe cleaner so it holds it nicely to the paper. Now it would probably stay like that, but just to be extra sure, I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to take four little pieces. You don't need big pieces. Four, can you see that? Four kind of small pieces, about an inch. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it over the folded part of my pipe cleaner and just tape it down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. All right. So I put little pieces of tape over all of my bent over pipe cleaners. And then on my front, I have my 10 purple beads and my 10 pink beads. And now I can use this to answer math questions from 0 to 20. So if I needed to know what 10 plus 10 was, I could do it. It's 20. All right. I hope you find this useful, and I hope you enjoyed making your very own wreck and wreck. Bye.